it is time. It is time to brew your best beer. Brought to you by Beer Grains Supply Company, Brew Tubers Online Brewers Club, Brew UK, Panhead Brewery, Tanner Ritchie, Finney's Homebrew Emporium, Brig Selve, Hackney Brewery, Hashigo Saki, Mangrove Jacks, Sprig and Fern Tavern, Yakima Valley Hops. <laughs> right, guys, we're back for another final stage uh, SJ Poor Challenge 2014 beer review. And um, as always, a big, big thanks to the sponsors that have made this competition come together. It's uh, it's really helped us, as I say in the in all the beer reviews for this competition. It's really helped us to sort of get everything to where it needed to be, and uh, and without them we'd be scuppered. So please take a bit of time if you have. <coughs> pardon me, to um, to go over, show some support to the sponsors, even if it's just sort of sending them a message, just just thanking them, it just uh, just lets them know that that it has helped. Um, but let's crack on with this beer uh, review. This is the Wild Boys Brewery um, American Red Ale, um, hoppy American Red Ale. Sorry, Brad. Um, so yeah, Brad came second in the uh, in the Southern Finals for the U.S. Uh, my goodness, 6.2% ABV, 100 IBUs. Let's have a quick look at the recipe before we crack it open. So, uh, Canada Maltin Canadian Two Row. My God, what a mouthful. Maris Otter, Carapils, Great Western Crystal 40. Um, Crystal 65 and Roasted Barley. The hops are Amarillo, Citra, Mosaic and Simcoe. <laughs> Two of my favourite hops in there. And it was fermented out with, let's have a look, American Ale 1 Y Yeast. My goodness. So again, all the beers are sitting in the fermentation fridge around 6-7 degrees and it's been out just to sort of just to help them aromas uh, and flavours lift. Look at this for a cap cover. Um, it's one of these uh, plastic cork covers that you get on the wine bottles. Really nice touch, fantastic label. And on the back, please enjoy my beer in one of these glasses. A beer stifter, a stamped tulip, a large wine glass, but not a pint pot. <laughs> well, we're using the new, uh, the new brew dog half pint tulip so I uh, hope that's all right for you Brad let's get it cracked let's get this off oh god not a good start at all oh I buggered it up oh come on come on don't want to get my teeth around this have I got to oh. <laughs> don't tease me like this you bitch oh there we go. There's the bit I wanted. Um, nice cracker. Nice cracker. Got some of that plastic in my teeth now. Oh, Brad, what are you doing to me? Uh. Oh, we're into it. We are into it. Uh. Wow, Amarillo in my nostrils. That is uh, that is one hell of a fresh, hoppy aroma coming out of such a small gap in the bottle. I can't wait to get this out. Can't wait any longer. Let's get it poured. I don't know if this is bottle conditioned, bottled off the keg. There doesn't look to be a huge amount of sediment at the bottom, which would probably indicate uh, just a bit settling out uh, I don't know but uh, but look at that color oh my that is a real sort of blood orangey um, color to that lovely head tiny tiny tight bubbles like a loose meringue 
um, in uh, in appearance. Little snap crackle pop there, so uh, we shall see what happens with the head. I don't think it's going to go anywhere though, because I can see already that the carbonation is uh, is streaming up there. Um, it's a lovely looking beer. It's um, probably a little bit chillazed, but it is clear, really, really clear. You probably can't see that, the line's not very good in here, but uh, it doesn't matter to me. I've said it many times before, a beer does not have to be bright, clear, for me to think that it is a good beer. In fact, I am not, not that I'm not a huge fan of the clear beers, but um, having something that's got a bit of a haze just gives it more of an appeal um, to me. Just a personal personal note. <laughs> Let's get some aroma off this rascal. <sighs> Just like sticky sort of orange uh, coming off of the aroma. Getting some citrus, definitely getting some of the Simcoe, some of that like uh, a slight sort of resiny sort of aroma. And there is no off flavours or no off aromas in that. It's smelling clean. Just a beautiful, fresh, citrusy, sort of orange um, aroma coming off of it. <laughs> it's really, really good, Brad. <sighs> that is good. Okay. Let's give it a let's give it a taste. 100 IBUs, um, 6.4%. Cheers. Oh yeah, that's 100 IBUs. All right. Um, the first thing you get is. Um, is the bittering. It lets you know it's there but then it sort of washes away and you're left with this lovely sort of residual sweetness again that beautiful hop flavour just carries on from where the aroma starts oh god it just wants you to go back for more <laughs> I'll oblige For me, that is perfect amount of crystal. Perfect amount of crystal. Um, it's just giving you enough of it to sort of add to that bittering. Um, and then the residual sweetness just sort of creeps in and, and, and reassures your tongue that the bittering's alright. It's alright for it to be bitter. I'm here to sort of smooth things out. Um, the hop on it is is amazing. I say that the flavour and the aroma is is virtually the same. Like I say, some beers you get them, the aroma is uh, all singing, all dancing, all the whistles and bells, and then when you go in for the taste, it's like a mask that the beer's been wearing. <laughs> Once you remove that mask, it's like, you know, one level sort of nothing much to scream home about. Um, but this takes the mask off and it's sort of the same thing. It's it's fantastic. The carbonation um, for me is again just bordering on being too much. It's on the good end though. It's just 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 enough. Um, any more, and um, I don't think. Um, I'd be enjoying it quite so much, but because it's sort of at that level, it's really bringing everything to life. It's sort of bringing the freshness to it. Um, you're getting the bittering, but the the carbonation sort of lifts you um, and brings them sort of lovely citrus um, and orange sort of hop flavours out into it. The crystal sort of rounds everything off. Like I said. It's the perfect amount of crystal, personally. Um, crystal's a funny thing, and I'm still, I'm still mastering it to, 
too much and it's noticeably too much, uh, just enough and it really does sort of build the character and, and sort of blend everything together which is what's happening here Brad. Yeah, clean as well, absolutely clean as a whistle. Um, I think there's just the right amount of uh, bittering there. I think there's just the right amount of crystal there. There's just the right amount of um, of residual sweetness um, to round everything off. It's not too sweet, um, so it keeps it sort of zesty and uh, and refreshing, if that makes any sense. Hmm. That is really good. Yeah, the aroma is 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 really nice. Now we've we've got a a bit of space to to collect the aroma. Getting more of the crystal now, and it plays really well with the with the hops. Oh God, that amarillo is just just there. Getting getting more of a, a now like a lime zest sort of sort of aroma to it which plays with the orange and that Simcoe is is giving you some a tiny bit of like a a resiny sort of aspect to it. It it just all works really well. Really, really, really good. Um would I have a keg of this is the question. Yeah, I would. I would for me it's uh, it it is a, a nice beer to have um kegged it's it's a lovely sort of IBU and uh, an ABV to sort of sit down and have a couple the crystal isn't too much so you you could sit there happily supping away on it the hops for me are the star of this amarillo is well you know how I think about amarillo look at that head I mean, look at it. There's nothing really much you can pull apart with this beer. Um, Brad, I'm going to score this and uh, and finish this off and really, really sort of enjoy and savour it. I just can't believe this competition has, has sort of done this. I'm drinking beers from New Zealand. And then, yeah, I'm going down to the... Dirty, dirty South of America, Carolina. I'm bringing, uh, bringing a beer from there out the fridge and, and supping on it, drinking it down. And the fantastic beers. All right, guys, I'm going to score this up like I say, and I'll catch you with the next one. Cheers, Brad. I'll see you soon. Not Brad, I mean just, just in general.